Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of A Plague Tale Requiem here on Longmeister Gaming. We are about to find out what additional adventure awaits us here on this island that we got to in the last episode. This is going to be Chapter 9, Tales and Revelations. And I'm just not going to even waste any more time. Let's go ahead and get into it. And remember, if you enjoy the content, please leave a like for the video and help the channel out. Again, Chapter 9, Tales and Revelations. Here we go. These clothes feel so nice. Yes. Hey, come here, sleepyhead. <sighs> come on, it's just the sun. Look, it's worth it. Whoa, it's... Well, it's... Like a dream? Yes, exactly like my dream. Quickly, let's eat something and get going. Come on. Woohoo! It's beautiful! Can we go play? Hey, we're here to know why you dreamt about this place, right? Yes, let's go! What perfect weather for exploration. Yes! Island explorers! Let's find the exit first. Look at that! It's so big! Now I'm counting on you, all right? If you see anything... Yes! I'll keep my eyes peeled! Peeled? <laughs> we say keep my eyes peeled. Oh! That's horrible! It's... <laughs> yes, it's horrible. This place truly is something. It's so big. I would get lost. I could get used to it. Would you be a countess? Oh, no. Too many responsibilities. To you. Good day. Thank you. It's gonna be a hot day. Oh, you're right about that. I can't imagine having to wear that. Is helmet. that the way it's out? Be rough I suppose. Let us this guard. Yes, I heard about that. Better safe than sorry. Hello. Can we go outside? Sure. Enjoy the brighter days. Slept well? Sophia, hi! Nice to see you! How did you know where you'd be? That's my life, sweetheart. Wake up early, observe, listen, and make the best of it. That's how I discovered Arno is in jail. Yes, that bastard. He betrayed us. And worse, he used Hugo. What kind of use could he make of such a tiny creature? Or... Are you more useful than you look like, little one? I'm not joking, Sophia. Arno may be your friend, but he almost got us killed. 
So you spent the night celebrating his capture with the Count of Provence and his wife? No, I don't care about them. I kneel to no lord, Sophia. No count, no king, no one. I only care about him. All right. I had a nerve there. I was teasing you. I just like to know who my friends really are. And I like what I hear. Come. Let's take a walk. Yes! I took some time to wander around this morning. Do you know where you're going yet? Not yet, no. Take your time. Weather's just fine. People are partying. Even the guards are quite nice. This is why we're not in jail already. Shouldn't we go out on delivery now? We still have time. The feast is this evening. I'm pretty sure they haven't started cooking. from your dream. Almost. It's funny. It looks like it's looking at something. Oh, a treasure hunt. Already? Well, let's see what he sees. So, a dream and a bird. Hmm. Hugo's been dreaming about this place a lot since before we came here. And each time there was a bird. All right. Why not? another bird. You're right. So what's this one looking at? Only one way to find out. Everything's so different from Guyen. Even the smells. Yes, it smells hot. It's never hot in Guyen. Not in the same way. I trust you. Thanks. Just a few more tiles. Your answer might be in there. Oh, there's another one. Let's have a look. Hello there. Hello. Going to the fertility Climb up. site with All the right. wife. Yes. <laughs> Maybe this year will be the one for us. I hope so. You both deserve the child's blessing. Is that the tent it's looking at? I'm not sure a centuries old bird is interested in a tent. How about we just go have a look? Yes. Up we go. Brighter days to you. Happy brighter days. Well, yes, same to you. Oh. <clears throat> oh. You 
ready? Just about. I don't want to miss the ceremony. To Lacuna! To the child! This is all nice, but wouldn't the church consider it utter heresy? Yes. You have to be a count to take that kind of risk. This island is pretty remote. I guess that helps. And there's no eye gold can't close. Can we go back to searching the birds, Amicia? One more! Say, that's a large family of birds. Let's find another one! Imagine if it led to a real nest. No, it's something meaningful. It has to be. I'm sure it is. Back to hunting birds. Yes, people who can't have children come here to be blessed. That's sweet. I heard the Countess is the one who created all this. She's so nice. The Count and her, they seem so much in love. It's... Embarrassing. Unexpected, I'd say. What's going on here? Nothing is dead. Everything sleeps. Nothing is barren. All is waiting. No child is born. They already exist. Waiting for a new breath. Called from renewed faith. Praise the child. That was funny. It's a prayer Not about tight, life Hugo. and children. <sighs> You'll understand one day. It's looking at those columns. That's exciting. Let's go and see. <laughs> Tell me this is it. What do you see? I see columns. It's beautiful. Nice find. Some sort of uh, antique theater? Yes, it looks important. Now let's see. And the child of embers. There may be more under that cross. Are we going to cut it? Too slow. I should be able to clear it all at once. Come on. Up. Yes. showed the way.
It's a map of the island. It's antique. I'd say hundreds of years old. Probably Byzantine? There is a lot of those around here. Look, Amicia! There's the drawing! What drawing? The drawing of the Order! Yes! I see it! What Order? A very ancient Order of Alchemists. You overheard us on the boat, Sophia. Hugo is sick. It's not contagious. Still, the Order wanted to lock him away to do whatever they pleased. But I... But you kneel to no one. I get it. So, what did you come here looking for? Whatever can help him. It's simple. If this symbol indicates important areas. That one. Well, that one is pretty hard to miss. The teeth! They're called Las Madres, the mothers. Oh. I know, boring. It makes sense. Let's go visit those mothers, then. Those teeth. Are you coming with us? If you want me to. I told you, I owe you. Come on, then. Yes, we are gonna climb. The view from up there must be quite a sight. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Up we go. All right. <laughs> in the teeth. Yes. Yeah. Some kind of uh, temple? Sanctuary. That's what I've heard it called. And now I'm even more curious about it. Sold. This is our first stop. It seems so nice. So we've got a magic bird, an ancient order of alchemists. The little one has visions. <laughs> well, just what else can I expect? Hugo's sickness is special. Our mother's an alchemist, but she couldn't do anything about it. It's almost like a curse. Who could curse such a cute baby? I'm not a baby. It's the bloodline. This thing goes back to the dawn of times. It's unfair, but this is real, Sophia. In Guienne, the Inquisition came after us over this. We barely made it here. It was horrible. They killed everybody. Damn. All right. We'll find what you came for. You have my word. Thank you. That's it. The path to the sanctuary. So we're done here for now? Yes. Let's go. It's going to be quite a walk. First to the top! Hey, easy! I don't want to carry you! Chicken! <laughs> Are you tired? We've been walking a while. It's not as high as it looked. Don't be disappointed. We're not there yet. <laughs> Looks like someone's more tired than you. <laughs> I don't like mountains. Everything I need is at sea level. I like mountains. They're big and tall, so when you're on top of it, you're big and tall too. You know, it's his first time climbing one. Well, in that case, let's be big and tall together. Damn, it's getting hot. Oh. Look, we're almost at the sanctuary. Do you know what almost means? Come on, it will be worth the sweat. Look at the size of it. So what do you expect to find up there? I want to see the real bird. Or the tree, or the pond. I'd prefer an elixir. 
Something to really help you, Hugo. Maybe the bird will have it. Oh, spring water! How can he run in this heat? Child skill. He can also fall asleep in a snap. Mm. Mm, it looks so fresh. It is. Just what I need anyway. Hey, Hugo, you have some dirt on your face. I'll get it for you. Ah! <laughs> Water attack! Hey! <laughs> Counter attack. <laughs> but the Darunes, Hugo! All right, all right, all right. I yield. You soaked me to death. I win! <laughs> <laughs> A sailor defeated by water. He shot me in the eyes, all right? I did it on purpose. <laughs> That's my brother. Talk about family. Well done, Hugo. I'll have my revenge. Tree is huge. Yes, carving that must have hurt. Oh, goats! There are a lot of Mesia. Don't be scared. They much prefer their olive leaves to little children. Yes, but they scream. I'm here. Well, well, well. Our fierce warrior is afraid of goats. There are too many. You're heading to the child sanctuary. We are. Oh, I'm afraid you're too late. They closed the gate, as you can see, for the ceremony. A ceremony? Oh, we came all this way for the little one. Ah, uh, well, that goat path to the side will take you closer, but you'll have to look from afar. The Count and Count S are up there, and the guards are on edge since yesterday's mess. They won't take kindly to uninvited guests. We'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Oh, by the way, if you stumble on Tremontan, Please send her back here. This is one of my goats. We'll try. Good luck, then. I hope she won't attack us. Oh, come on. It's a goat, not a wolf. But they scream. <laughs> oh, they do. So they lock down the sanctuary. Just our luck. On the bright side, you don't lock a place down if it doesn't hold something important. Yes. I'm even more curious now. Is that the goat he talked about? Tremontaine, yes. She's here! <laughs> we should send you back to your owner. Goats. I stared in their eyes for hours when I was a child. Lot. You Are can't we going to help know. Her? That's what heroes do. All right. There may be another way in.
me. Wow, this is turning into an actual rescue mission. I really hope she's nice. I'm sure she'll be thankful in her own way. If she's not, we'll lock her up again, won't we? Don't worry. You have two strong women to protect you. So funny. Not all the time, but ha, mostly. Quick, yes. Quick! You did it! That was nightly. So, here's our fugitive. You saved her, Hugo. Want to say a proper hello? Hmm. I'll go with you. You've done the difficult part. Don't startle her, and it'll be just fine. What if she screams? Screaming's not biting. Just say to yourself, it can happen. And that's all. I'll try. See? It's easy. They don't all scream. Yes. She's nice. All right. She's <coughs> saved. You've overcome your fear. And I want to see that sanctuary. Let's go? Yes. Go. Your dad's waiting for you. She's not moving. She will. She's her own master. There wasn't any goat in your dream. No, but maybe there will be now. Who wouldn't want a dream of goats? Thank you for your offerings. Sorry to push you out. But the ceremony will begin soon. Hmm. Soldier. Oh, no problem. Make sure no trouble arises. Climb yes. up. Yes, we had enough violence yesterday. The child must have ended. Up we go. We'll be especially careful. Don't worry. Good. Well, thank you, Arno. That was to be expected. What do we do with the last offerings? They stay in careful. now. We'll bring them up there after the ceremony. Looks like they really like their privacy. How will we cross that gate? There's no way I can attack them. We get jailed or worse. I have a trick. This prism focuses sunlight. It can scorch tall grass. You get smoke. You get any guard's attention. Wow. Let's try. Tell me where you want a guard to go. Tall grass only. The child knows. Yes, that's what's important. Likes to keep it for. It was another false alarm. I knew it.
free from. Come on, it works. Here's the door. Let's be Nothing quick. Nothing to worry about. Trespassers, keep your eyes peeled. We've got company. Stay alert. Fly with us. We Find company. Come on, it works. Come on, it works. Come on, it works. There are intruders in the area. Start looking. That prism is magic. It is, but we're not there yet. See what can be done. Through here, I guess. Oh, it's very high. Oh, wow. Stick to the wall. Keep going. It makes me dizzy. Oh, shit. Bloody hell. You're right. There. Oh, all right, all right. <sighs> I don't like your stunts, kid. I want to go. Yes, let's keep moving. We're here. We made it. You all right, Hugo? I'm sorry. It was way too risky. I'm better now. Thank you, Sophia. There's nothing. It's just... My worst nightmare. We should walk a bit. On solid ground. Oh, all those flowers. That must be for their ceremony. Your present would help. 
Let's capture the light. Yeah. Up. I'll try. Ah, 
surgery, all right? Got it! We'll be sacrilege anyway. The child needs peace, not weapons.
must have been nothing. Making that swag every time. <gasps> Great. They make it so easy. Come on, it works. Doing it, my friends. We're getting there. Yeah. <sighs> Whew. Yes. How do you feel, Hugo? I feel funny, but good. I'm sure there's something inside the mountain. I feel it too. Well, I'm trusting you both. Everyone, it is almost time. Gather round, please. It's the Count and the Countess. It seems we're right on time. Up. All right. Hugo, look at 
this? Is it from the bird? It's up to you. I say it is. Then it would be honored that you wear it. Keep it for when we see it. Yes. I'll give it back then. Careful with the drop here. We're uh -huh. still waiting for a few latecomers. Feel free to come closer in the meantime. Latecomers? I'd say that's us. What are we going to do? We'll... think about it. Friends and children, today marks the longest day of the year. The light of the summer solstice shines upon us once again. And yet, in these cold hallways, hidden from the sun, the child of embers still slumbers. It is time to bring the flame of the phoenix... The phoenix? ...to his dormant That's embers. Your bird. Thus will we prove that we deserve to care for him. Like mother. Like father. Let us pray together before we enter. Come. What do you think? Bold, but believable. Are we dressing up? Open your mind and heart. It is now time to tell his tale. So that it is never forgotten. What do we do? Let's follow them or not. And do what they say. They mustn't recognize us. Yes, come on. Centuries ago, a child was born on this land. His heart was blessed by the sun, from which he inherited the flame that rules everything. And so was born the child of fire. What? His flame shone over the world. He blessed it with his perfume, his laughter, his joy. Of all places, Lacuna was his home. It became a land of life and peace. A place to heal, to thrive. Lacuna became a cradle of light. But light tempts evil. And evil knows no mercy. Come. A child on a throne, in an order temple. It's him, the child of embers. Take your place at our sides. Please kneel. Evil found the child inside these very halls. It fed on his fire, weakened it, marked his flesh with coal black scars. His mother's arms couldn't warm him anymore. And so his light faded, almost entirely. And the child of fire turned into the child of embers. Lord. A dark era began. Men forgot about him, but we did not. This flame is the last gleam of his light. Our hope. And now, two of you, a woman and a child, will carry it through his night. You. Your heads are bent. Your humility honors you. You will walk his flame through his darkest hours. Take it.
You will walk in his steps. Know the cold that bites the flesh, the drowning in the absence of light, the uncertainty. You will see the child die through the eyes of his mother. You will be the victim and the witness. Keep that torch alive at all costs. The carriers have been chosen. Take your places. What do we do? We have to play along. Let's cross. Go forth and bring him the light. Much depends on it. This is unreal. Those frescoes. The plague. They think it was caused by the child's death. It's cold. So they don't know the macula? I don't think so. They interpreted all this. They made a god out of the carrier of the macula. Amicia, the water will put out the torch. I think it's part of their ritual, drowning in the absence of light. glow in the dark. I am the mother, and I welcome him. Pass it to me. You did well. The child the must rise again. again. Hear me, child. I am not barren anymore, for your flame lives in me. I am the mother. Become the phoenix, the child of fire reborn. Join us. Blow on these flames. <gasps> the phoenix! It's the phoenix! Shh! Yes, I see it. It's real. Even if it is the order, it's all true. May the breeze of life reignite his flame. Hey, it's me. Sophia, come. I found a passage back there. It's now or never. May the breeze of life reignite his flame. 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 They'll see we're gone. Not for now. We all look the same. No kidding. A child's throne. He... he lived here. Their child of Embers. There's no child of Embers. I told you about the Order. This place belonged to them. And this child on the frescoes? 
It's the carrier of the Prima Macula. The Prima Macula. This just gets better and better. Alchemists call it the first corruption. It awoke in Hugo's blood when he was a baby. It keeps growing inside him. And it's killing him. That's what this whole place is about. The advent of a carrier of the macula. The order gathering around him, studying him, trying to find a solution. And uh, rats. Let me guess. Death, war, disease, and famine. Not only. The rats are... Anyway, they got it all wrong. There's no child of embers that will come and save the world. It's a fantasy they crafted to fit their hopes. All of it sounds like a crazy fantasy to me. Part of it is true. The part that can save him. The only part that matters. Basilius and Aelia. Nothing's changed. That water's not magic. The water? Oh, from the healing pond in your dream. It's like a symbol. Like mother's alchemic drawings. Stagnating water is rarely magic. Hey, come see. That's his throne. And this, I think, is his name. Basil? He was a carrier just like you. You're not the only one. That's why you dreamt of all this. Something called you here, and for a good reason. I mean, look at this place. If there's a cure, it has to be here. And who is Aelia? It looks like there is more to this place behind here. Let's keep looking. Come, I'm sure there are extraordinary things waiting. <laughs> What's all this? Are we the first to come in here? Oh, a tent! You're right. It looks untouched. Too sacred for them, maybe? Do you know whose room it is? It is. It's Basilius's room. Just imagine. He was living here, playing here, sitting where you sit. Isn't that astonishing? Yes. And he loved tents, just like you. You love tents? Me too. He had a phoenix. Yes. Maybe he dreamt the same dream as you. Let's see what else he left us. Lovely horse. It's your size. Pretty sure he was your age. Yes. So that was his bed. It's beautiful. This Basilius was treated like a king. Maybe he was a king. King Basilius. Look at that. Hmm. They're people. Important ones, maybe? Prophets? Are there prophets in the order? They're villains. I think he shot at them with this ball here. Hmm, <laughs> makes sense. Boys. I like this game too. Come, we've barely started. Wow. That's a warrior's room. Not just any warrior. Look at the shape of the armor. was coming here to play with her. And she let him. She was the best kind of knight. I would have loved to meet them. What of it? It's a lady's armor. Oh, Aelia. 
Amelia. This is her room, of course. She was his protector. Protector? The carrier's personal guard. Like me for Hugo. She looked strong. Sword and spears. Wow, look at the axe too. I wonder if they were put to use. They built this place to avoid it. The carrier draws attention. Valuable tiny creatures. Look, wax tablets. They're carved. He drew her. And there, he drew himself with her. He loved her. It looks like they spent a lot of time together. Just like us. This is so strange. It is. Let's keep on. This is crazy. I feel like... like I know them. Like Basil could have been my friend. I know what you mean. Oh, look! Huh, that bird again. Its shape. It's the Order symbol. The Phoenix is the Order. It's just that. Um, sorry, boy. But no! That explains why it stands above the child on their frescoes. They thought they were better than him. They didn't care about him. It doesn't change why we're here. Come, let's finish this first, right? Hmm. <laughs> Be damned. What's this now? An alchemy laboratory. Can we go back now? But it looks exactly like what you're searching for, no? Yes, but... No, you're right. Look for anything that could lead to an elixir. A, a potion, like books, drawings, maybe raw materials. On it. What were they making in these things? Lord. Give me something, please. This is all centuries old. What do you expect? Empty. No! What the hell? Hey! Quieter. We'll find something. Uh, sorry. Lucas would know. He would. This is all useless. Please. I need something. Hugo, did you find something? This table. An Athenor. They put no. him on it. Whatever's been cooked in. Wait, I'm coming. This place is crazy. Um, I think the little one needs you, Amicia. Yes. Hey, something's wrong? I'm sure they heard him, too. Hey, I know things aren't turning out the way you expected, but... Nothing ever changes, Amicia. But Aelia wouldn't let them hurt him, right? You... You let for done? No! I... I tried to stop it, but... I, I know. You tried. Sorry. Hey, come here, you two. Sophia, where are you? Upstairs. How did you get there? Look behind the curtains. Hugo. What is this? No door. Some sort of uh, observation hallway?
Huh? What have you found? Your alchemist library. Looks like they were observing the child from here. Like he was in a cage. Any mention of a kill? No, but they took other notes. We're right above the laboratory table. It's wrong. Imagine these bastards standing there, looking at him. We have to focus on what they learned. I may have a lead. What is it? Your alchemists wrote down everything that happened to the carrier. It's sorted by date. The last entry was in the year 541. 541? What does it say? I haven't studied Latin since the convent, but it talks about Basilius. And, uh, um, Alia Dragus, his protector. It really did all happen. They were just like us. What happened to them? The Order took away the carrier from her. She rebelled and was arrested close to a round tower. They took her to a, a, a capella, a, a chapel inside a fort. And Basilius, where is he? It doesn't say. Well, we have something to go on. A fort, a round tower. They're coming. We're lucky they didn't come sooner. Yes, let's get out of here fast. May this putrid water seal our determination. To stand by your side, day and night. I feel your sickness. I share your pain. We will protect you. We will care for you. I am the father. I am waiting for you. I am the mother. I am waiting for you. Join us. Whenever you feel ready, we are. That was... 
Spend a full week at sea with my crew changes your notion of stench forever. That was enough for me. Let's go to that fort. Hugo? There was no fort in my dream. Maybe, but your dream put us on the right track. Look at all we've learned. Now we just have to find out the rest. Don't you want to know what happened to that Aelia? And your ancestor? It's going to be all right. Um, can we take these stinky clothes off now? Yes, we should. Nothing happened. We're good. Especially you. You're the sneakiest child I've ever met. Look, if there's no fort in your dream, then we'll look for the round tower, all right? All right. And maybe they decorated the island even more. All right, that's going to wrap up this episode. This was Chapter 9, Tales and Revelations. We are fully into the belly of the beast on this one, and I am really anxious to see what happens in that next chapter, Bloodline. That just sounds like it's going to be crazy. Uh, I do feel sorry for Hugo. I think things are really starting to take a turn for him. On a personal level, he's seeing how awful basically everything is and it's just I, I mean I know he's seen it many many times but like I feel like now it's really starting to hit him uh, so I don't know I'll have to see how things shake up but I, I hate it for the kid so anyways thanks so much for watching as always I appreciate your time and until the next one guys long master out peace